Hello, and uh, welcome to my channel. I was wondering today about my mileage when I bought my car. So I couldn't step outside right now. So I got lazy and I started looking through my paperwork. And I remember a while back, somebody taught me how to read a New Jersey title. There's a lot of information on here that a lot of people don't know that is on here. Like, for instance, I bought this 99 Lincoln Town car. And um, all your information is on here. I have my information hidden right here, the VIN number, just to give me a little privacy. And underneath here, right where my finger's at, is my address and my name and in the bottom right here is my driver's license number so I have it partially blocked but here is the mileage when I bought the car the year the make the model and how many doors the color that stands for gold the weight class is seven that depends how many how much weight it has like if it's a three or four ton it's a weight class seven and how much I paid and when I got it as you can see it was just September last year right here and this right here a lot of people don't know and I'm gonna tell you what prefix stands for on the New Jersey title prefix stands for how many owners this vehicle has had so buyer beware when you go to buy a car and you ask for the title which should be common sense for most people it's good to ask for the title because a lot of people when they buy cars from people on Craigslist or Facebook these people are selling cars for dealerships so they don't even have the title half the time if they do you ask them to see the title and let's say their name is not on the title it's somebody else or it has a whole bunch of paperwork with it that's probably because it's a dealership so they're getting pretty smart on how they sell cars nowadays hmm. and uh, these people make money off of them selling the cars so anyway back to prefix right here I'm gonna give you a quick rundown about this car in particular it is I bought it at a junkyard, and the guy had the title in his name, and he gave me a history about the car, it being a one-owner car of an old man who passed away, and uh, his family didn't know what to do with the car, so basically it got towed, et cetera, et cetera, ended up at a junkyard. So the old man who passed away, he was the first owner. Usually... When you're the first owner, this doesn't say anything here. Okay? So, the first owner would be considered zero or nothing. The Then, after him, starts the counting. The junkyard put it in their name so they could sell it. So, they would have been number one. They would have been first owner after the original owner. And then, after I put it in my name... Technically, I'm the second owner. But hypothetically speaking, I am the first, first actual owner since this car was bought. And look at the mileage. 34,900 miles. 35,000 miles. It's a brand new car. And it drives and feels and smells like a new car. So please stay tuned for that video. I wanted to do this video on um, on um, titles and a little backstory to the video I'm going to put up of my new Lincoln Town car. And I had it for a while now because we're already in April 2020 and I just haven't had a chance to post up a video. I've been working on other things. So, uh, like I said, um, Prefix is the owner. So technically, I'm the second owner since the original. Okay. And it's a regular standard title. Weight class. 
This car weighs about four tons, so seven means f about four tons. The color, the mileage, uh, the axles, two axles, four door, town car. I guess this is abbreviation for town car. It's more like ton car. Lincoln, 99. Suffix Z. Now, I don't remember what that is, so you have to forgive me for that one. And these are the VIN numbers. Okay. Usually, if it begins with a 1 for Ford or Lincoln, it was made in the United States. So, all right. Thank you for watching.